On their first day in the city, the Prince and Princess of Wales gathered 20,000 basketball supporters to support the Boston Celtics and publicize the Earthshot Prize prizes. William and Kate were ushered into the TD Garden Arena to watch the game from courtside seats with the Celtics owners W.Y.C. Grousebeck and Amelia Fasolari, Massachusetts incoming Governor Maura Healy, and Boston Mayor Michelle Wu. The Star Spangled Banner, sung by a semi-finalist from season 10 of the reality television series The Voice, was played as Kate and William stood. However, when the royal couple was later presented by a stadium announcer and displayed on a large screen, there were a few isolated instances of jeers heard across the arena. The original Celtics, a well-known basketball club founded by Irish immigrants in New York earlier in the 20th century and which folded in 1930, served as the model for the Boston Celtics. When the prince and princess emerged on the screens in the middle above the court, other spectators could be heard shouting, USA, USA. The 17-time world champions took on the Miami Heat in downtown Boston, but the royal couple kept a smile on their faces and posed for pictures with spectators as they applauded the high-scoring game and clapped points. At TD Garden, William and Kate can be seen waving to the crowd on the Jumbotron. Wednesday's Celtics game saw William and Kate converse as they made their way to the courtside. The Boston Celtics Shamrock Foundation, which offers grassroots programming and strategic funding to local groups serving at-risk or at-need populations, was among the members of the Celtics family that the Royals met before the game. A promotional Earthshot film was shown to spectators prior to the game, and digital advertising boards were lit up green all around the arena to advertise the awards. William and Kate observed as the Celtics honored their long-standing custom of honoring a hero among us, hailed people striving to positively impact the community, after the second quarter with the game tied 47 all. Ollie Perrault, a 15-year-old climate activist from East Hampton, Massachusetts, who has been an active participant in the Youth Climate Leadership Program since she was 11 years old, had the opportunity to meet the royal couple. She is now the founder and director of Youth Climate Action Now, a group dedicated to promoting intersectional system change, environmental justice, and increasing the participation of young people in climate action. The royal couple elected to stay until the finish of the game, shaking hands with spectators as they left, despite royal advisers' predictions that they would leave during the third quarter. Given the embarrassing incident that occurred during the Earthshot launch just hours before the game, William and Kate undoubtedly hoped that the evening's event, which was the second in their official list of commitments during their hurried three-day trip to Boston, would go through without a hitch. Reverend Hammond, who started a youth group dedicated to teaching the history of the civil rights movement, addressed the crowd while the Prince and Princess of Wales viewed from the sidelines, saying, on this day, I invite us all to ponder the legacy of colonialism and racism. The manner in which it has affected individuals all across the world, she said, and its deep relationship to the planetary destruction that we are all trying to stop. The stories that have been lost, the animals that have become extinct, but also the people's tenacity in the face of injustice and the basic decency of all of our ties. Even though Lady Susan Hussey, a former lady-in-waiting to the Queen and William's godmother, was not mentioned, many couldn't help but draw a connection between the controversy and Reverend White remarks Hammonds after she was accused of making racist remarks to black domestic abuse campaign Ngozi Fulani at a Buckingham Palace event on Tuesday night. The Reverend thanked William and Kate for picking Boston to host this year's Earthshot Prize after beginning her remarks by acknowledging the ancient lands we stand on today. We are a city of numerous firsts, as you all know. We are thrilled to host the Earthshot Prize, as the first American city, and the first city outside of the United Kingdom," she stated. Her remarks on colonialism came shortly after another of William and Kate's international engagements, a march tour of the Caribbean to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, was dogged by charges that certain aspects of it were reminiscent of colonialism. 
Both Secretary John Kerry and Ambassador Caroline Kennedy were supposed to attend the Earthshot event, but they abruptly cancelled. The Prince and Princess were informed by Kerry, the presidential envoy for climate change, earlier today that he would unfortunately no longer be able to attend, though he did not say why. Kennedy, the daughter of President John F. Kennedy and current US ambassador to Australia, claimed that the severe weather battering the East Coast had disturbed her trip arrangements. However, according to FlightAware, it appears that the weather had little effect on the number of cancellations at Boston and New York airports. After founding a youth organization dedicated to teaching the history of the civil rights movement, Reverend White Hammond was ordained as an elder in the African Methodist Episcopal Church before starting her job with the city of Boston. John Kerry and Caroline Kennedy did not attend the Earthshot event that Prince William and Kate Middleton attended on Wednesday night in Boston. The John F. Kennedy Presidential Library and Museum will also be visited by Prince William this week. In addition to visiting Greentown Labs in the nearby town of Somerville to gain insight into the creation of cutting-edge green technologies, he and his wife will learn about the efforts made by regional organizations to reduce the risk of rising sea levels in Boston. The royal couple will also reportedly see President Joe Biden on Friday while he is in Boston on a different tour. I hope you find this video useful please like, share and subscribe for more update thanks for watching.